Hey guys, this is chapter 18 from Meet the Cars book. Because today we're gonna be reading about from Meet the Cars book number 18. Dude, can you believe it? 18. We reached from Porta Corsa, and yeah, and we did today. That was a long time ago, and it was a. Ca- How's it called? Morning. We did off the road. But today we're gonna talk about Meet the Racing's Biggest Fans. So, let's go. Every racer loves the road of the crowd. But some fans got the extra miles to get noticed by their racing heroes. Hardcore gearheads camp out days before a Piston Cup race to get the best view of their favorite racers as they speed by. Although most fans prefer the, to park in the in the stands, Rodier attends like to hang out at Redneck Hill in the center of the track. Those cars know how to have a good time. And first page we have Maddie McGear. So Maddie's vehicle type is Axel Microt. Maddie McGear has been following Lightning McQueen since the first race. She may be little, but she has a big heart. She cheers on McQueen with all her might. That is until she meets Cruz Ramirez. Now Maddie is a fan of both and admires McQueen and Ramirez equally for their courage, heart, and character. Yeah, she's a big fan of Cruz Ramirez and Lightning McQueen. And here we have Fred. Fred's vehicle type is Stogy Solver LT. Fred truly is racing's number one fan. Some cars have battery wax jobs or, or attached bumpers. But do they have the hard and dedication Fred has? Not a chance. Between Fred's racing blog, podcast, website, and daily calls, ins, ins to numerous radio shows, it's amazing he has time to get to any actual racers. Okay, racers. Look, his license plate says Fred. And here, me and Tia. Me and Tia's vehicle type. R nineteen ninety two Mazda Miata. Me and, and Tia haven't missed a race in over a year, but they've been be the first to tell you that they are not race fans. They're Lightning McQueen's fans. Painted in his signature red and covered in Lightning McQueen stickers. The girls scream like crazy when their hero races. They scream like crazy when he poses for photos. And they scream like crazy all the way home just thinking about him. So they're crazy on the queen. And here is Timothy Two Stroke. This is Emery Craft. You will find no bigger Lightning McQueen fan than Timothy Two Stroke. He once drove from New Jersey to California in just four days to see his favorite car race. At the speed he was driving, Timothy shouldn't have have been watching the race. He should be have been in it. Well, too bad. I do not got Timothy two stroke. Look at his screen. Here is Kit Rester. This is Hollis Mobile Driftwood. Sometimes Kit Rester can be found waxing and renting soft surfboards at the beach. More often he can be found closing shop early and hitting the waves. But whenever there is a big race at the Los Angeles International Speedway, he forgets the beach and heads straight for the racetrack. So he's just rushing to the race. You see, Piston Cup. Here is Polly Paddle Jumper. This is also Emery Craft. A mill mannered homemaker by day, 
Polly Pile Jumper has rooted for the king ever since he blew past her on the outskirts of Placerville one summer afternoon in 1989. No one knows about her secret cross, and he plans to keep and she plans to keep it the way that way. So he's uh, the the crown and he's trained for the king. And this is Matthew True Blue McCrew. This is Brownie Motor Company Leeway GT. Matthew True Blue McCrew has been a fan of the king since the first came of the production line. In fact, everything in Matthew's house is painted King Blue, including the light bulbs. Actually, including the light bulbs. Because for the Matthew, because for Matthew, being a being a fan of the king isn't just reserved for a race. They it's a way of life. Yeah, he's got the king flag in blue. And here is Sid Bander Camper. This is 1986 Cloud Chaser RV. Each year, Sid Vander Camper migrates cross country to see his favorite Piston Cup races. Last year, on his way to the Los Angeles International Speedway, he swung through Kingman, Arizona. There, he found plastic flamingos at a local garage sale. Now, the plastic birds are peppermint fixtures on Sid's front lawn. Yeah. He's at the pool, and these are the plastic flamingos. And here's Albert Hinky. Albert Hinky is not just Lightning McQueen's biggest fan, known as Buffer Master. Among friends, all can also guzzle to gas stations worth of few in one sitting. All is the biggest fan, actually the biggest and best friend anyone could ever have. This 1958 Buxomatic Travel Bout for XL. Yeah, it says Lightning Mc Lightning's biggest fan. And here's RM. RM's vehicle type is 1980 Buxomatic Coach 5.0 LV-8 motors. He's cheering for the race and McQueen too. The red, red McQueen flags. RM and Larry are the best of the of best friends. These two can usually be found making trouble and taking names at the trial. But despite their roadie nature, they're true certain gentle cars and dead serious when it comes to racing. Yeah, they're both best friends. And here's Larry himself. This is 1980 Silverliner Coach, 5.1 LV-8 motors. Let's see. Larry and RM known the stats of every team, which is useful since they always have a bit reading on who will be the next Piston Cup champion. Yeah, he's got Piston Cup, another Piston Cup, and they're cheering on the race. And here's Barry Diesel. This is 1975 Silver Liner Coach V8. Barry Diesel loves Dynaco oil. He starts his day off with Dynaco Stream Octane to give him that extra kick in the bumper. And then it's gallon after gallon after Dynaco Regular to keep him running smooth all day. However, his wife thinks it's about time Barry switches to Dynaco Light. Yeah, he's got Dynaco hat, Lightning McQueen flag, Piston Cup, RPM, another Piston Cup, Dynaco light, and he's drinking. Look at that. And here are the Convoy Brothers. These are various silver liner makes. The Convoy Brothers have never been apart. They do absolutely everything together. They work together, have lunch together, they even have vacation sites 
next to each other. To see them, you'd think they were welded at the fenders. But they're not. Not anymore. Thanks to the miracle of modern engineers. You see. K. I. N. G. Stands for King. And here is Clayton General Breeze, this is Silver Liner Coach. I mean Silver Liner Drifter. So let's, let's see. Clayton General Breeze grew up in an RV park on California's Monterey coast. He's a traveler by nature, so touring with his favorite racers with first fits. His lifestyle, beautiful. He doesn't see himself ever setting down in the spot, not for longer. That a weekend anyway, he just can't ignore the call of the opponent road. Open road, I mean. Yeah. Check it out, he's cheering on the race, he's like, woohoo! Here we have Benny Break Drum. This is Slabbered Schooner. Benny Brake Drum had never been for a race before. That he is until he was color number seven on his favorite radio show, Morning with Eddie and the, and the Dump Truck. And just like that, he had two front row tickets for a race. He just had to promise to wear an Eddie and the dump truck bumper sticker. Yeah. And he's like surprised, like, like, ah! Here is Marty Break <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Sorry about it. That's just too funny. This is Raymer about Nero. Now this time, men. Marty Breakburst doesn't feel alive unless he's got something to worry about. Whether it's his receding tire treads, politics, the teenagers next door, fossil fuel running out one day, of, or the general state of the world. Marty is only truly happy when he's miserable. Miserable. Yeah, he's got a piston cup of tea that is like... And lastly, but not least, here's Walmart Flats. This is 2000 Clabbert Sniffler. Do fans have do fans have fans? Well, Lightning McQueen's two super fans, me and Tia, do. Walmart Flats meet me and Tia at Lightning McQueen Fan Club event last season. And he's been smitten ever since one Wilmar actually gathered up the ner nerve nerve to ask Tia what time it was. Her answer quarter to three. I think it was a sweet treasure memory he plays over and over in his head. Yeah, he's like, oh no, a queen! He's got 95 red lightning. And there's a yellow lightning with 95 in red. And the orange lightning McQueen flag. And we're done! We're done! We're done! We're done! We're finally done! So thank you for watching, folks. This was one of the chapters from Meet the Cars book. And we now, today, did... Uh, how's it called? The racing fa race fans. So yeah, this was a really nice video, and thank you for watching it. And I'll see ya. <laughs>